Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Grim record across the U.S. as 53,000 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed on Thursday, and that's the most in a single day. And cases are also on the rise here in Michigan heading into the holiday weekend. The state health department reported 543 new coronavirus cases Thursday, the highest daily count since May. The total amount across the state is now more than 64,000. 15 new deaths were also reported Thursday. Meantime, the Red Robin restaurant in Clinton Township confirms two workers tested positive for COVID-19. In a statement, the company says that location will stay closed indefinitely. The number of cases linked to Harper's in East Lansing keeps growing. We're told more than 150 people are now infected in more than a dozen counties. Now, if you plan to hit the water this weekend, you're going to be seeing more U.S. Coast Guard boats. The Coast Guard is planning extra patrols to keep the water safe and has partnered with police and sheriff's offices to do that. They're going to be looking out for boaters who have been drinking or are under the influence of drugs, either legal or illegal. Last year, over the 4th of July holiday weekend, the Coast Guard said it, nearly 10,000 boaters were ticketed across the country. All right, welcome back. Well, today the hot weather continues, but today the humidity goes back up. After yesterday, the humidity was pretty low, so we did hit 90 degrees yesterday, but uh, with low humidity, it wasn't too bad outside. But today, the temperatures get higher and the humidity climbs higher, too, so it's going to be getting more humid, uh, especially by the time you get to the afternoon and, and through the evening. And so the heat and the humidity leads to the chance of some pop-up thunderstorms from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. today. It's going to be less humid the rest of the weekend, so I know it's hot and it's going to stay hot for a while, but at least the humidity is going to be dropping for the rest of the holiday weekend. But this is the future cast beginning at noon, so temperatures already by lunchtime today are going to be close to 90, and we'll have highs right around 93 degrees. But you see a couple of pop-up thunderstorms. These will be drifting in from the north, moving to the south. And they'll be moving slowly, too. So if you do get caught in a storm, there could be some heavy rain, and it may be kind of slow moving, too, before it moves on. So these will be isolated, meaning that everybody's guaranteed the rain. But uh, moving from the north to the south, a couple of isolated storms going to be possible. So keep an eye out for that today. And uh, otherwise, it's just a hot day. 93 degrees are high. And again, the chance of storms still 8 p.m. Temperatures are going to be sliding into the 80s. It'll cool down much quicker if you get some rain. But uh, we'll be around 83 degrees by... 9 p.m. Should be about 81. Some of that 91 for 10 p.m. 81 degrees at 10 o'clock tonight. 71 degrees for the low overnight. And the humidity drops off the next couple of days. But look at next week. The humidity comes roaring back, especially by Wednesday and Thursday. And those are days where we'll have better chances of rain. So through the weekend, 93 today, 91 tomorrow for the 4th. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. Low humidity. The wind's going to be pretty light. So uh, great weather for the 4th tomorrow and also Sunday, 92 degrees. I know it's hot, but at least the humidity is going to be down. And look at the temperatures next week. Get ready for mid-90s, 95 Monday and Tuesday. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News.